Good morning, everybody. It is Delilah from Delilah's Downloads. Um, so excited um, to be with you guys right now. I cannot tell you how um, how um, excited I am to have parked my car. Sorry, guys. Okay, somebody was coming in with a message. Um, to have parked my car and to get this word to you. Um, it took me about uh, 10 minutes to get to a safe spot to park. Um, so I could talk to you about where you will be counted in the senses. Um, it matters. So come on in, um, say hello, heart it up, share this message, um, get it to those who you think may need it. I am talking about your identity. I am talking to you about your identity. God has spoken to me and I have heard from God on the importance of our identity. So come on in and have a seat, um, pull up a chair, take a notebook out, get ready. So the thing that God has talked to me about is knowing your identity and being in right alignment with where he's called you to be and what he's called you out of. And so he likened it. So hold on guys, cause I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. Um, he likened it for me on um, a change of um, address or a change of identification. Um, so we know we're in 2020 and we have a census going on. And if you've not yet taken your census, you should. And when you take your census, it will ask you, where were you, li where were you living April 1st? And you can't put pick multiple locations on where you were living you will have to choose what what um where you were living you will have to choose where you reside you will have to choose identity and what he brought up in my spirit was i don't know if any of you have ever either changed states um and had to change and should have changed ids um and but you you like i i have this thing like i have my hawaiian id and in my in my natural i thought i wanted to hold on to it but after this thing i just got from god i'm i'm ready to get rid of any id that i, I that i no longer um should associate myself with when you when as a kingdom citizen as a kingdom citizen, we have to be clear on what we identify with, who we identify with, what nationality, what king, what citizenship do we identify with? Because sometimes we can find ourselves wanting to hold on to things for one reason or another. I may want to hold on to my Hawaiian ID because it's so pretty, although now I'm a New Jersey citizen. I should align to where I've been placed. There's a reason I had to leave the one place to come to the next. I shouldn't try to hold on to things that um that are no that no longer represent where I am in life. Come on, Holy Spirit, where I am geographically, where I am spiritually. And the Lord reminded me, like I had to renounce that old citizenship. This is a new place, a new season, a new geographical area, a new spiritual realm that He is taking you to, a new type of level of wisdom and revelation that He is taking you to. We have to be careful how we still associate with the things of old and that inhibit us from taking on to the new. I actually heard the word renounce, renounce those things, Delilah. There is a way to tell a story, but not still associate myself as a part of that kingdom, as a part of that citizenship. And you either get to choose you're a victor or a victim. There's a way to tell the story. There's a way to be counted in your current citizenship. And tell us, uh, tell an informational story about your old, but not be associated or tied to that kingdom. He told me to renounce, um, renounce the citizenship of molestation, renounce the citizenship of rejection, renounce the citizenship of um, um, of fear, inferiority, renounce these things. Some of us, including myself, sometimes associated are still associate ourselves with things that almost killed us. We tell stories from a victim standpoint. Like I, I remember, um, I remember this happened to me and that happened to me. There's a way to tell a story that's not from a victim position, but it's from a victor position. So the question is, or the statement is to know our identity. If we are truly citizens of the kingdom of the kingdom of God, then why are we still identifying with other places? Why are you still identifying? with poverty why are you saying things that are poverty stricken and sound like lack why are you saying things if you have no longer a citizen 
of a deathly illness. Why are you still speaking about the illness like you're still there? Why are you not speaking about the illness from a place of victory from where God brought you from? Why do you need the, 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 the sense for people to, to, I don't know, to be overly empathetic because you won't take on the full love of God and mantle and garment of God and praise? The Lord clearly spoke to me this morning. Know your identity. Know where will you be counted in the census when it asks you to choose what you were or where you were or choose what you are and where you are. Will you try to choose and hold on to things you should let go of? I clearly could not say in the census that I am in Hawaii. I couldn't say in the census that I am in Chicago. I had to be accounted for where I am right now. And when we have a citizen, uh, a, a kingdom census, and the Lord asks me, where are you? I want to be found in the kingdom of God. I do not want to be found that my identity is still associated with things that almost killed me, still associated with addiction, still associated with sexual perversion, still associated with um, uh, rejection and abandonment. I'm not telling my story from the position of victim. I will tell my story and my testimony from the position of victor. And so the Lord has sent me this morning to encourage you to evaluate your speak, evaluate, pull out your ID out your pocket, your spiritual ID out your pocket and ask yourself, how am I identified? to find what am I saying where am I aligning and it if it is not with the word of God and the spirit of God renounce it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. You don't even have to tell anybody else on how you were speaking from a victim standpoint. You don't have to even have to admit it to anybody else that that is what you were doing, glorifying a thing that almost killed you, giving position to a thing that almost killed you, where the devil tried to take you out. You're still holding on like you're a victim. Renounce it now in the name of Jesus and wave your identity in the kingdom of God as a godly spirit king citizen like it is a banner and a flag send the great jehovah nisi as your banner before you and refuse to be taken arrest by something that used to have you move my god <laughs> move he's already moved you you need to align you need to repent you need to renounce where will you be counted in the sense in the census Will you still be counted for uh, two years ago, six months ago when he's already delivered you from that thing? Or will you be found to be counted in the in the victor with the victory and the kingdom that he's called you and placed you already in? What is your ID? Y'all, he I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is the season. This is the season for wisdom and revelation to know him better. And you get to know him better by renouncing the things, the labels and things and the and the things that the enemy has tried to place on you. You can't, as you, if you keep looking at the old ID, you'll keep associating yourself with the old person and the old place where God has already moved you. This is not the time. It's not the time for the status quo. Evidently, our lives say everything about how the status quo has been disrupted. Our lives say that things have changed. My goodness, how are we saying the same things and aligning to the same things if things have changed? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I'm not going to belabor this point. I said what he asked me to say. What, where, what's your, what, how are you identifying? Where will you be counted in the census? Where would you be counted? Ask God how you should say that thing because it is a testimony. It's a testimony unto him where he's taking you from, but ask him how to speak about it now. Stop speaking from it from about it from a position of victim. Stop holding on to things that tried to kill you. 
and kill your children and kill your lineage. No more. There's no more tolerance for that. Where will you be counted? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak healing and restoration. This is, you are not in the same place. Revoke that ID. Renounce those things. He has moved you. So move. In Jesus' name. I love you guys. Delilah's downloads. You go catch me always saying what needs to be said. I love you guys. You got any questions, thoughts, anything, you know where to find me. Um, make a decision. You have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. Make a decision. I love you guys. Talk to you soon.